Let's get it. You're another rubber job a video four hours ago. I'm telling you, I always like the rubber. Rubber always been pulling through and everything. It's either Tales from the Foundation or the rubber. And then for third place, always has to be explained for those three people. But you guys already know, I always love them all three though. But then Tales from the Foundation takes forever. <laughs> forever. All right, you're done talking. Talk show SCP 326 Saturday evening with your host, Talk Neck Explanation. <laughs> I don't know if I said right. You already know by your robber, as I said in the beginning. Uh, you guys already know, which of in the description. Go check him out. I'll be happy. Very happy if I get him with like one more subscriber. That's all I could do. <laughs> but I'll be happy. And yeah, let's just get it started. And I'll be holding you guys' time. Viewer discretion is advised. The live set of the show was filled with Whoa, why is it, what's it blowy, boy? Uh, we need that. Whoa, boy. There we go. See, we need that. We need that. <laughs> that nice animation, boy. Uh, let me check if it's good. The show was Everything is good. Palpable excitement. The crew members were getting ready for the oh, show get some to go live. Mark sat oh, among uh, the audience. Uh, uh, uh. This was his first time ever to participate in a live taping of any broadcast. Johnny, I'm excited and all, but I just can't shake this strange sense of dread. Oh, oh, no. Come on, lighten up. It's a talk show. The host is smart and charming. You're gonna love him. Why does he have like a face? Like this? Like does he? Uh, frame. Stop sorry. <laughs> they do, They don't. Uh, again, frame. They don't know like how his face looks. Like that one SCP. Is this the one SCP where a tall man comes? Everyone's laughing and everything. Is this the one? Oh, oh, the SCP that I'm talking about that I saw from Tales from the Foundation. Is it? I don't know. Let me know in the comment section. Look, here he comes. The camera began rolling oh, as hell the host no. walked out. It's not. His scales glistened brightly under the spotlight. Hello, my children. Welcome to the show. Now, I know what you're thinking. Tayal Kunek, why do you look like that? Why are you green? Are you wearing a mask? Why is your name so strange? Shut up. Damn! It's exploded with boisterous laughter. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna get called ugly on my own show. And this is my face, not a freaking mask. Hell, from where I stand, it looks to me that you are the ones wearing masks, and your skin pigmentation is all wrong. But don't worry. I woke up instantly and left. <laughs> I'm telling you, I don't deal with none of these, boy. All that will be fixed. I assure you. The audience cheered except for mark this isn't normal pardon me you there yeah you i heard you say something mister i'm M mark ah yes mark a normal name now, I... mark i'm all for different opinions hearing both sides that kind of thing but sometimes an opinion too radical can be harmful for society you know now, i was just yeah, wrong, well, but like, it's ain't nothing wrong, man. It just now, now, you should just Coach leave. See, all the same, all the same. I'll just instantly laugh. I'm telling you, the doors right there. Standing member of our society, I feel obligated to use my platform to educate the ignorant masses. So, our good friend Mark here can join in our brave new world. Now, you just wait a minute. Come, my children, my brothers and sisters, let us help guide this poor soul to his right path. It didn't expect to go into audience participation uh, so soon. I, I don't get this. Uh, <laughs> Will everyone turn to a lizard? Is that what will happen? That everyone's going to be turned to him? Tonight. Hello, everybody. I'm the I don't runner. know. What's this? Is it like Euclid? We bring you SCP Keter? Okay. Keter class object, SCP-3926. I thought it was going to be uh, Euclid. SCP-3926, also known as Saturday Evenings with your host, Tayal Kunek, is an anomalous TV talk show hosted by a reptilian humanoid, Tayal Kunek. Tayal Kunek has been described by the viewers as charismatic, humorous, caring, okay. and loving. Oh, we got ads. You guys already know about ads, man. You guys already know. I don't get paid at least a single penny of these ads. I'm going to try to have a volume. You're going to skip it. But remember, guys, if you ever get one my ad, watch the whole thing. Thank you for supporting me. And remember, right now I'm doing YouTube for free, so you should not be getting ads. I uh, skip it, uh, mute, and I start it. The production of the set is standard with other low-budget TV talk shows, uh, with abysmally low camera quality and recording equipment likely being from the 1980s. 
It is filmed live with a studio audience, collectively designated as SCP-3926-1. Right. 3926 broadcasts follow a set pattern. Teal Kunek begins to talk about issues which have to do with humans as a species. For the rest of the broadcast, Teal Kunek will preach about itself and how it must gain influence and power. Human subjects who have viewed three or more 3926 broadcasts we want to go over there and be like him while you watch the show, right? Cast will begin to sympathize with Teal Kunek and transfer to SCP-3926-1 within 12 to 14 hours. Then, 3926-1 will begin responding angrily to other humans who speak poorly about Teal Kunek. Humans in stage 1 of 3926-1 are still genetically human. So the the only difference one. being the support for right. Teal Kunek and its goals. After two to three days of being in stage one, subjects will be. Oh, hell nah, man. I not want this no more. And I'm stubborn. Like, hell nah. Into molt, beginning stage two. A bed is made from phlegm and other bodily what? fluids excreted from SCP 3926 1's mouth. 3926 1 will lay down in the bed, assume the fetal position, and begin shivering. In a varying amount of time, the subject will shed their human skin. The final product of 3926-1's nah. evolution is a pale green humanoid that lacks facial features. 3926-1 in stage 2 will preach Teal Kunek's ideas and goals and will attempt to forcibly convert humans by vomiting Hell their nah, man. on them. As the applause settles down, these. Teal Kunek returns. <laughs> That's what you get. You come try and come near me like that. I'm telling you, you are not leaving me alone alive. ...to his desk. All right now, calm down, everyone. Now that it's under control, we've got serious issues to discuss. I'm always drink your I'm water. talking about humans. For years, they've tried and tried and tried to lead their pathetic countries and always mess it up. They'll blame the weather. They'll blame other people's ideas. Humanity is doomed. Unless I'm in charge. Hell yeah. Show them how it's done. Hell Thank no. you, sir. See, people, humanity needs not only me, but also guys like him. And guys like you, all of you. Oops, I the meant to move that. The turn to address one of the cameras. To my new listeners, you may be asking yourself, why am I worthy of Teal Kunex's grace? What have I done to earn his voice, his unwavering light? Okay. And the simple answer is no, you're not worthy yet. Okay. All you have to do to join me in eternity is tune in next week. Undergo your pilgrimage from your meager human form to the image that I, Teal Kunek, created for you. Okay. <laughs> Bask in my light. Know what it is to be perfect. I know, I know. You're thinking, this is a lot to take in. But I swear, once you abandon your chains and take my hand, all will be well. Damn, my boy knows how to do his speeches, though, my life. He knows how to do his speech, but, like, boy. <laughs> He know how to do his speeches, man. Like, god uh, damn, what kind of college you went to, bro? Public speaking, what? What you got for public speaking? What grade? You got a perfect A+. Plus? Damn, boy. Dr. Nielsen looked at the TV. Damn. And Teal Kunex's face froze in an expression of joy and damn. excitement while I'll take pointing it one. his finger right at him. He ejected the tape and turned towards his subject. A stage 2, 3, oh, 2, 2 6, dash 1. So that's the show, huh? You unworthy worm. It's not just a show. Boy. It's our lifestyle, our guide, our enlightenment. Dravelia pities your poor soul for not seeing the truth. Better hope that he doesn't let you know transform to his last form that bomber on you. Ooh, you better hope he does it. Dravelia? That's my name. My true name. Given to me by the future overlord, Teal Kunek. You see him on the screen now, but soon you will see him everywhere. Uh, right. Okay. So, my first question is, how did you feel about losing your humanity? Losing? Psh, please. Dravelia didn't lose nothing. In fact, I gained something. What you're seeing here is the next stage of humanity. While you're still stuck in your disgusting form, but since you're so curious about our glorious evolution, all right then. Dravelia will do his best to explain so your monkey brain can understand. Well, you Frieza? There's only one person I know that could call you monkey. Frieza. <laughs> Dr. Nielsen rolled his eyes. At first, I wasn't sure about it. It was a new experience. 
having my eyes open to the flaws of your species. I turned the TV off right then and there. It made me uncomfortable, knowing that there was something leagues better in okay. the same planet as me. But next week, I felt like I needed to watch more. At first, I was doing it so I could prove something to myself. Prove that humans really were better. But the points Teal Kunek made, they were indisputable. The way he said them made me feel warm, <laughs> comfortable. I was willing to serve him for the rest of my life as an inferior being. That week, I felt real weird. Had some kind of nasty congestion going on. Felt like I was wearing someone else's body. So, Saturday night, I got a TV dinner, sat down, and tuned in. Laughed a bit, had a good time. That's where the liquid comes Near the out. end of the episode, he turns to the camera, felt like he was staring right into my soul. He says, You have the power to overcome your human form. Become how I made you. Inhabit my intended body. I cried, and I'm a strong guy. Last time I cried was when my mother died. But I tell you, I was bawling like a baby. I had my escape. I was free. The next day, I suddenly vomited up this pale green stuff all over the room. I remember Teal Kunek talking about it on the show. Flim, he called it, said it would help you become a better organism. I slipped and fell, but I didn't want to get up. I could, but I had never felt anything so peaceful. The phlegm had slowed Hell to no. a trickle at that point. I was covered in it. I drifted off into this deep sleep. It was amazing. So I woke up and felt fresh and new. I walked into the bathroom and saw myself in the Hell mirror. Nah. I was beautiful. Hell, I am beautiful. I laid down for an hour in my phlegm, just enjoying myself. It was wonderful. What about your friend? The one you tried to indoctrinate by dragging him along with you to the live taping. Mark? Oh, he was just a fool who didn't know any better. That idiot stood up and interrupted Teal Kunek in the middle of the show, spouting all kinds of nonsense about how we're gross and all that. Teal Kunek and the audience wouldn't have it though. Can you tell me what happened to him? They killed him and ate him. They like scoop over like soup and ate all of him. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, Davili right. is gonna tell you, and you listen good. When he got up and started running his big mouth, Teal Kunek just shut him down immediately. Really shows how quick his wit is. Stupid monkey brains like the rest of you can only wish to keep up. Then the rest of the room got up to back him up. Yeah, even the crew. Some of them who had already evolved decided that they would Hell help him no, the but what? So they vomited phlegm all over him. Hell no. People who hadn't turned like me could only do so much. So we surrounded Mark, beat him up so bad he ended up in a hospital. What did I say? They ain't killing him. I don't think he's dead. But I'll tell you, man. I thought they were going to eat him like soup. On Guerrero Street. Boy, you should have seen it. He was covered in phlegm and blood. It was a mess. You mean you guys killed him? Hey, don't oh, look at me like that. So he did die. I hadn't become the elites, so I didn't have the phlegm to do the job. And he was disrespecting Teal Kunek's wisdom. What was I supposed to do? You tell me. You don't feel any remorse at all for killing your friend? Oh, no. Damn, he's actually dead? Shows you how weak humanity really is in its current state. I. Right. And no, I don't feel bad. Not at all. If the most humble, intelligent, tolerant being that is Teal Kunek felt offended, you know you've done something wrong. Damn fool had it coming. Hell Dr. No. Nielsen clutched his head in disbelief. Oh, he was in awe of his subject's lack of remorse. Dravelia leaned forward suddenly. Oh. Dravelia can get you out of that skin if you want. Did I say it? When he just falling like bum on you, it'd be over. Just say the words, join me in eternity. Dr. Nielsen pushed him back and stood up. You're insane. This interview is over. Guards? He left hastily, leaving Dravelia chuckling maniacally alone. Remember I'll say, that, that was a good one. I just like that one. That was pretty good. I like it. The way he said it, the lizard talking his wisdom and all that, even though I don't agree with him, but I'm telling you, man. That's pretty, that was a pretty good one. But you can tell you, though, no, we made the end of the video. Hit the subscribe button. Go to 5,000 subscribers. I knew we could do it. I believe you guys, when we made to 1,000 subscribers, woo! But I'm telling you, 
You want to say that's 502, but hey, doesn't matter though. Hey, the like button too supposed to be even more. Turn the button for kids because I want to be early again, which means go to the comment section first, which that brings me to comment section. Go to make into play. It doesn't have to be a Roblox game. Go to make video to react to, but please put the reaction video in the on the comment section. It'll be easier for me to find. Or you can say hi or how are you doing. I will always, always try to reply back to you guys. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It's your boy Fave. Ah.